For a little extra safety from a few attackers, you should be carrying this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. So, I have seen on the news here that even in my own neighborhoods, downtown areas, there are large groups of people that are out roaming doing nefarious things. And in fact, actually, my friend was telling me about she and her daughter went onto the L train and there were a group of guys and she's not sure if they were drunk or maybe just rowdy, but they kind of surrounded her and her daughter and started saying lewd things. And she thought her safety was absolutely in jeopardy and she didn't have anything to protect herself. Now, if you bust out your cell phone at that point, calling the police, what are they gonna do while you're on a moving train? And then secondly, are the attackers just gonna stand there and let you make a phone call? I don't think so. And so something like this, a less than lethal type of self-defense, I think is really important. Now, this little bad boy here is 174 grams. I think that equates to about five ounces. What you can see here is it's pretty small size, but it's not small. It's not like a pocket pepper spray. This is actually a little bit bigger. It's obviously smaller than a hairspray can, but it kind of reminds me of like a butane gas refill canister. So obviously I can put it in my hand like this. It's gonna fit in a purse, a backpack, those types of things. It's gonna be maybe a little bit large for a pocket, unless you got deep pockets like me. <laughs> I don't have deep pockets. All right, but what we have here is a finger loop. So this whole plastic contraption up here is the dispenser. And what I love about this is that it's going to dispense in a somewhat aerosolized spray pattern. So it's going to be really good for getting that pepper spray out in the eyes and the face and the nose, the mouth of your attackers, even if you have multiple attackers. So if you have a couple people, you could spray this around and it's just going to kind of unleash that pepper spray everywhere. Now keep in mind, if you're downwind, you might get a little bit of that in your face too. So I would always hold my breath and close my eyes or maybe squint with one eye kind of closed or something like that to make sure you are aiming it in the right direction. But I also think that this thing is going to be pretty easy to deploy. So what you have here is this little finger groove. I can put my finger in there like this. We actually have a little lip right there so I can kind of grab it with both fingers. So that feels pretty secure. What you have to do is you have to remove this orange tab right there. This is going to remove itself from the trigger so that you can depress that trigger. Now, what I'm really curious about is if I can get this off one-handed like this, or if I need to grab this and pull this off. Obviously, it looks like I can pull this off, and the only thing that's holding it on here are these little teeth, these kind of teeth that are interfacing with each other. So I certainly believe I could pull it off like this, but I'm actually gonna try to do it one-handed here. Oh, okay, all right. That was not the most elegant thing, but what I like is that you can test it like that and figure out how to do it. In fact, what I wanna show you here is that even though I've done that, I do not wanna press on that because now this thing is armed and ready to rock. I can go ahead and I think put this back on just like that. So we're safe again. So what I can do is kind of work with this. Now I will say if this is in a pocket in this bottom part, I think the problem is it's kind of torquing up a little bit like this. But if this bottom part is maybe in my pocket, in my waistband, stuff like that, and it's not moving, that becomes even easier. So you can see that was totally real time. And you can see those grooves on the top. That's what's holding it in. And now all I have to do is go ahead and press and spray. And you would be getting a face full of pepper spray if I were doing this. Now, the beautiful thing about this is again, less than lethal. You know, you might not have permission to carry lethal types of defenses. You might be in areas, walking in areas, uh, after work, to your car, those types of things, traveling transit. You may be going through areas that you don't know that well. You might be visiting an area. And so something like this can be really helpful to give you a little peace of mind. Then if things start going south, or even if you're in an area that you've been to a million times, but there's a protest going on, there are people doing bad things, roaming, looting, all that kind of stuff. You can pass through with a little more peace of mind like this. And something like this is gonna work a lot better against multiple people than those smaller pocket pepper sprays. So the next thing we need to do here is try it out. All right, I am outside here and it is a little breezy. I've got a man-sized target right there and I have my five ounce pepper spray right here. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do was use it in this breezy, but not overly windy conditions. And I wanted to do this one-handed. So I've got my other hand holding my camera here and I just wanted to see if I had to pull this out under duress how quick it would be. Now, the other thing I want to say here is that even though I think it says the maximum effective distance of this is, I don't know, 20 or 25 feet, something like that range, I think that this is meant to be used in about half that distance. It's going to maximize the effectiveness of it. So let's see what we can do here. I'm just going to go ahead and flick that. Looks like that comes off, no problem. And now we can go ahead and spray this. And just for reference here, I'm about 12 feet away from the target, but when I extend my hand out here, you know, that's going to push it out about two more feet. So it's 
it's only probably from the bottle here to that target about 10 feet away. So I'm just going to make sure that it's 10 feet here. And then we are going to go ahead and spray it. And I'm saying, get back, get back. Oh man, look how wide the spray is on that bad boy. That was crazy. It empties that quickly, but holy smokes, look at that. I mean, you only maybe get three, four seconds of spray effectively, but man, that totally enveloped this guy. I tell you what, if you had three or four people coming at you in a cluster and you just wanted to give them a little spray like that, that thing is fully covered and it smells, dude. I mean, it smells like hot peppers. And um, I have now been playing around with this and testing it a little bit, but I, my nose is running here. I mean, I didn't catch a whiff of that because I am definitely upwind. That was intentional. As you can see, things are blowing that way. The paper is wrapping around the tree. But even in my case here with this little bad boy, I can smell it. And I definitely wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of this. And I will also say that if you are using this, you know, taking a deep breath before you use it, closing one eye, just in case you do get some in one eye, you have another good eye, might be the best method for deploying this. But in my case here, I'm in pretty good shape, but that guy and his buddies who are doing nefarious things are in much worse condition. Now, you don't have to just stick with that size. You could always go to a bigger size like this, but I think that is pretty effective. Now, I will say that this is really nice, like I said, because it can fit in just about anything, your glove box, your purse. Uh, you know, if you have big enough pockets, you could put it in there and man that produces a lot of pepper spray out there so if you want to pick up this guy from police magnum i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper